So I know this isn't going to make any sense when I say this, but I feel like as an artist, I am incapable of doodling. Now, if you follow my Instagram, then you see that I put on every single one of my drawings that I post, I put, it's a doodle. Now, when I say it's a doodle, it's just, that's the way I've always have sketched. I've always sketched full characters and everything. And I've never like really doodled though. And I used to always watch my friends who would doodle all over their notes and make cute little cartoons. I like, when I look at doodles, when I consider doodles, I was on Pinterest and I saw these like adorable, cute little corgis and foxes. And they were all like, it was like a montage of corgis and foxes because I'm obsessed. <laughs> but the corgis and foxes, there was no detail to them. It was just like little itty bitty lines, like little eyes like this and everything. And I just looked at it and I, I was just in awe in it because it was just so cute. Or there's this one artist that I follow on Instagram and he always doodles with just pen. And all of his doodles are amazing. And now when my definition of a doodle is like doodles as in they're cute little cartoons, easy to the point. There they are. They're adorable and everybody loves them. There's like little detail. My type of doodles are literally sketching all the characters, maybe giving them a little bit of shading and inking them. And I call those doodles, but I never have like given it a try like I'm doing here with Harry, Ron, and Hermione. So at work yesterday, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at these cute little doodles on Instagram and on Pinterest and I'm like going back and forth and looking at them and I'm just like, can I even do this? Can I even doodle this cute? So I just sat there and I don't know why Harry, Ron, and Hermione came to my mind. Probably because I'm watching so many Snapchats and Instagram stories from Comic-Con. Um, I saw that there's a Starbucks that's themed Harry Potter there right now. So I got super jealous. And I think that's what's, what sparked my mind to say, Oh, I'm going to do a doodle of Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And I kind of wanted to do uh, doodle them as the like the first movie how adorable they were as little children because we all grew up together and when i say we all grew up together we're all the same age um we i grew up watching them and we were all the same age we were all nine years old when the first movie came out and everything so whoa i just dated myself <laughs> anyways um so I, yeah, that's the reason I, I just never have been able to doodle when I doodle I either looked at concept sketches and I tried to do that in my own way By the way, I saw the most interesting piece of advice on Twitter and I really love it And I think it was um Steph from doodle date who retweeted it She it was somebody I don't even know who said it, but it was really interesting if you're going to make fan art When you're making it put your own twist to it then in some way, it's your own original art. It's not your character, but it's your own spin and your own taste to it. So I thought that was so interesting and I was like, I'm gonna do that from now on. So here is a little bit of fan art for Harry Potter and me trying to adorably doodle <laughs> with these guys. And I just wanted to do as little detail as possible. I wanted them to look like little children book characters and I wanted them to look like I can make a sticker out of them. So that's why they're so little detailed to them. And I didn't go crazy with my Copic markers. And I, I inked them and I gave them a little bit of gel pen wonderfulness, but I just didn't go overly crazy with them and I didn't try to throw so many details on them. And I really liked the way that they turned out. They're adorable. They look like they could be on a little children's poster in the back of one of the Harry Potter novels. So I'm really, I'm, I'm happy with what I doodled. And I mean, I want to make more little doodles like this just because I thought that I was incapable of doodling because all my friends were amazing at doodling, but I never was able to doodle like this. <laughs> so here we are, a little itty bitty doodle of Harry Potter. So leave in the comments down below, what Hogwarts house are you? I'm Gryffindor. People always ask me what house I'm in. I'm in Gryffindor. So if you're ever wondering what house I'm in in Hogwarts, 
It's Gryffindor. <laughs> I used to be in Slytherin and then Pottermore gave about 10 more different quizzes because they updated the website. So I took the, I had to take all the quizzes all over again. Every single quiz. I was Gryffindor. So hey, I'm with these guys. Yay! 